Wali set their standards. Na si tukazi embrace like fools. Barely full of ourselves, we empty us into them. We give them the power to define and devour us. Give them the ability to even tell us what it means to be us. Like a curse, we started to see our skins. The color of our skins ceased to be a thing of praise and beauty and instead, the color of our skins they convinced us is something to be ashamed of. Made us think they came in peace yet they came to wage war. A war of the minds to fool us out of the riches of our lands they landed. On the deepest and the darkest parts of us. And like an enemy ready to strike the weighted. Patiently, dividing and denying us the power of free will. You know, tell them it was their idea. Just so they don't realize we are actually stealing from them. So like fools that we ain't, history will remember us. How on that fateful day we were fooled, allowed to find esteem in only what they called good. Those cold-blooded enemies that slept into us and did us damage with no mercy, found the nature of the corruptible in us and they enjoyed pulling the strings as we sheepishly and blackishly danced to their tunes. Fine tunes you call it, fine lady, fine job, and it ain't successfully fit to enter white collar. But what about our black collars? Shall we combat God for lavishly blessing us with melanin? And then came the millennial mistake. How they knew they can't kill us, at least not directly. So they poisoned the younger us, the younger generation, so that our tomorrow is only great if it is great in their eyes. They didn't teach us to be like us, they taught us to be like them. So an African kid grows to be of age, ashamed of his origin. Until, until T'Challa, son of T'Chaka, a black superhero, raised like a white man, rose to tell us what a black can be, that a black can be a hero, but who would have known? That they were still on to fooling us, but foolish us. They taught us how to be black through the panther. They told us what and who we are, but they don't know us, and neither are they gods over us. Who we are is up to us to let God decide. So like a black man is a Christian, and the white demons devoured him, left him scarred and wounded in an attempt to kill the God love effect on mankind just so none of us will be kind who would have known that every time we didn't pray to God through the Messiah we lost it that every time we didn't pray the enemy prayed upon us that every time we left that every time we lasted after the ungodly the aroma of the ungodly will taste so good on our tongues that we would forget what it meant to be God's God's own children who would have known that every time we prayed that every time that who would have known that every time we left the prayer room dissatisfied, the enemy felt so satisfied that he had convinced us to follow our own will, which was just his will resounding in our minds. The demons, they aren't powerful against us because we got the name, the name to which all in heaven and on earth and under the earth bow down to. But they were cunning, and they managed to fool us into being powerless, having the godliness but not the power they are in. But God... But God in his loving kindness still calls us to himself. His love is neither muted nor silenced. For his love mumbles deliverance and the devil is beneath us. For he asks us to sit as his right hand side in Christ Jesus. And he shall put all of the enemy's wealth under our feet. For though we fell, fell tweak, fatherless and forgotten. In him we remember that we have a father who never fails us. For nothing can separate us from his love and ending. Not the devil, nor his demons. For the liar's lies are powerless against God's grace. So today we stand, proudly Christian, and proudly forgiven, evangelical poet. Hey, evangelical poet. Manze, that's awesome, that's big, manze. Thanks. You, 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 nini? You know, you're Yeah, that's, uh, that, that was, I, I was writing more about how we saw ourselves it, and it's more like we are trying to find prestige in being white than mm -hmm. being black. Mm -hmm. And also, I realized that the life of a Christian is just the same. We are ashamed of being Christian in this time and age, which shouldn't be the case. We should be proudly Christian because in, in, in God we are forgiven. It doesn't matter whether people look at us as unfinished and uh, broken. Mm -hmm. God looks at us, so at us as finished. A Christian poems. Yeah, gospel poetry. All right, Karibu Sana, evangelical poet. Thanks. Tell us who is evangelical poet. You need to a stage, Nani. Well, <laughs> evangelical poet and the man himself, Mungai, are more more or less one, the same thing. Mm -hmm. Because you can't give what you don't have. Uh -huh. 
kuna piece niandika always give what you don't have i can't love you na sijaipendwa hey. so i can't uh-huh. give you i can't give you the god i don't have mm-hmm. so. before even ask you where malenzi natokanga i have a man man's in the right next to you nathan amani karibu sana man umetulia sana asante man uh-huh. <laughs> bado niko amazed dio piece ni kali yeye imeweza kidogo feel sandi na ni friday ba karibu 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 feel like man say hii nitafanya yangu kweli lakini imeweza So who is who is Nathaniel? Nathan Nathan Amani. Uh, Nathan just a humble guy. Mm-hmm. Nathan is a humble guy. Mm-hmm. Nate speaks is the poet. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Nathan msetu amtatu mm-hmm. say humble. Mtu gani? Mombasa 001. Eh, Mombasa. Yeah. Naona uko na Kiswahili flani flani. Unatuchezea <laughs> tini. <laughs> Tukiwa hapa hivi na Evangelical. Sisi ni watu wangu turusungu. <laughs> Amini wa Kitale, amini wa Kitale. Kitale kwa Mahindi ndani. Yeah. Mm. Lakini umeamua kukaa hivi. Kukaa tu hivi tu tuko. Kunyenyekea tu. <laughs> More or less. <laughs> viti viti, let's talk about uh, about uh, poems and the like and it, today today our edition is poetry edition. And of course we are looking at some of the things Mzee Wasome kwa kifanya and the like. So let let me begin with you um, evangelical. Ulianza leo kufanya hizi poems? Nilianza kuandika 2013 uh-huh. performance 2015 Eh ulikuwa chuo back then ama Yes I was in school uh, So ulikuwa unanikia tu chuo una release ama ama uko tanaanza no, I was I, I was just okay poetry came about as a result of me praying okay. with words that I could not utter cause ilifika time uko na pressure ya mtiani watu wanakuambia kuna kitu inaitwa river mara for those of us in St Anthony's wana relate uh-huh. ya kwenda form 4 so those guys tell you river mara ina mezanga wa say and I'm somebody who was getting c minuses and uh, under average and I'm trusting god that nitapita <laughs> so like uh-huh. Nini, I'm trusting God ni tapita uh-huh. and I'll overcome this mara. So I actually even wrote a piece to that river mara mm-hmm. and I would nini I would I, I started building confidence through mm-hmm. writing. I, I realized that God has given me a channel of healing and mm-hmm. peace and venting out. Well, what what makes you think like by the way ukifanya ukifanya tu hii hii peace was what I feel it. I don't look at things that way. Uh-huh. I look at things I, I I look at I, I look at poetry and performance right now differently from how I used to look at it back then. In 2015 ungenipata yeah I was trying to get those snaps trying to get as in what wa kujue when mnoma but in the end like mm-hmm. it's frustrating sometimes they appreciate sometimes they don't so i decided that i would be satisfied whether they appreciate or they don't mm-hmm. and i would only find satisfaction in doing something that didn't allow me to feel empty but allowed me to have life and i found that satisfaction mm-hmm. and contentment in god wow. so from 2017 i decided i'm a gospel poet because wow. this is what so before you go for a secular I was, I was trying to mix both because okay. mimi kijana wa church alafu after high school hiyo mapressure wase wanakuambia eh hey, isn't mistake okay cha kuandikia Mungu andikia wasichana zitaingisha box ah. but again sasa ndo 2017 nikaamua <laughs> ngumu ngumu <laughs> if, 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 if if it means being single uh-huh. for god let me be single hey. but at the end of the day I, I, at least i'm finding life in okay, single for god yeah as okay. in i mean People 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 want you to please them. Mm-hmm. People want you to worship them. There is a piece I did. Mm-hmm. People want you to please them and worship them. And in that piece God I need a lot of healing. But then my pieces minister to me. Mm-hmm. They don't you're not my first audience. My first audience is me. Mm-hmm. Because wow. those pieces I've never seen them. After mm-hmm. nimeandika like they preach to Mungai. They mm-hmm. preach to me and they change my life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they do change my life. Hey, bigger, bigger, bigger. B- we'll come to you because na Julia cha guitar. Na hiyo hiyo ni solo baruta tujibu baada baada mbona ukaacha guitar. Nathan Limanze tell us about your poetry and when you make two events to into it before we get to the general industry. Uh me basically in the summer. <coughs> Away from uh difference ya yeah, Milianza 2013. Mhm. Ipoje kwangu Milianza 2016. Okay. Yeah, and it's kind of um is a funny story mm-hmm. like given size na fanya poetry i didn't even know kama nitafanya poetry me mm-hmm. i just say poetry iko talanta kwangu it was just something i was just good it at it wasn't discovered hey. mm-hmm. so yeah imekuwa poa nilikuwa mm-hmm. two time two na um, i play basketball so kuna time imekuwa okay i saw someone on tv mm-hmm. 
with a friend of mine his name is JR Pieces so she on amse kwa tv anafanya kitu and you're like i i can do that and probably even more you get mm-hmm. so one day after tupetoka kucheza bakei that's why we wrote our first piece ever mm-hmm. back in 2016 so mlikuwa wase kadha no just a friend of mine JR right. Pieces uh-huh. actually it's my partner to look at to form speak of pieces uh-huh. like net speaks na JR Pieces so even though ilianza we started writing posting kwa groups nini nini and look at she kind of took under two even niko hapa sasa hizi jua poetry jua poetry how how uli kujaje kuj discover cause kuna msay by then as a by the hata mimi naweza feel kaule boy sijai jijua bwana pini wasi mama uli kama ku discover no sio liko not uli kuambia nini nini um nilipoanza i used to live up na hizo hype za wasay like reaction ya send ile kwa ina mpatia motivation ya ku move on hizo mm-hmm. ma i still have hizo screenshots hadi wale zile za mtu atakwambia nice work great talent nini nini hizo hizo vitu boost mse not mm-hmm. in a good way kuna kuna positive kuna tu. criticism <laughs> <laughs> tu sawa tu ile kweli hizo vitu boost wase mse akija kuambia good work mm-hmm. you'll have that tani urge ya kuendelea mm-hmm. like ah sasa ilikuwa itu, ilikuwa tu hivyo Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, uh, let's talk about now poetry in general. Uh niliona uh, evangelical ulianza kitu Meru University. Yeah, I studied Sanskrit poetry uh-huh. and it still runs up to this day. Wow. Th- when? Th- this Friday itakuwa. Ulianza when? That was same early last year. Uh-huh. It, sta- it, it it was like a, it was a transformation. Uh-huh. The first time I tried it, it failed terribly. I was the only wow. poet attending my <laughs> event. Was <laughs> it <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> and then uh, some other guys came mm-hmm. later on a year later uh, that was around 2016 2016 there and then when they came they were like man you're a poet we can work with you and then like we tried something then it failed again mm-hmm. but at least it was a half success because people <laughs> that we didn't invite came <laughs> and then ile design eh rebu to scare say atuna kazi ya kufanya and then sasa later on we decided we will hold it monthly mm-hmm. and we called it poetry under the tree it was there mm-hmm. for uh, for uh, some time and then now 2018 mm-hmm. it it went full it blown. blown and so now reception uh, it's still poetry in Kenya Kenya mm-hmm. <laughs> it's about it's not about Kenya it's about the individuals who do poetry but do you think people or the audience like wase wakiwasikiza wana kuna ile reception like by the way we love poetry nini because unapata like nowadays kuna hii controversy sg music na nini my fails you go especially gospel music mm-hmm. unapata sg kuna ma controversies mingi sana eh hey, mara wewe unaimba vitu zingine huyu vitu zingine poetry kwa aje eh you vast so many questions mm-hmm. okay i'll answer the first part twende kwanza uh-huh. Poetry in Kenya. Mm-hmm. Poetry in Kenya is about the poets themselves. Right. The poets can make people listen to them. I make people listen to me. They didn't love poetry. They hated poetry, but they started listening to it, to it because of me. Content. Yeah, <laughs> content. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, people were like, eh, I used to hate poetry, but after listening to you, man, I think I think I love poetry. Hii hii issue kwa shona pili nilikuwa nauliza ndio controversy ya kuna hii mm. industry na ministry na nini and mesk ki trend all over mm. uh, are you up for ministry ama industry unaonaje uh, kwenye uh, range uh, well let me go plain on this as far as right now my decisions are concerned mm-hmm. um i'm doing both i'm mm-hmm. doing ministry mm-hmm. and industry ministry in the sense that the word of god is always within every piece i right. share Mm-hmm. Industry in the sense that if I host an event nini I, I have in quotes I have bills to pay for. Right. Mm-hmm. So like man this is my hustle. Ukikunikuja kwa duka yako ni pay sati juni ministry unaniuzia. So the Bible says there is no toil without nini mm-hmm. profit. So I'm also allowed to make profit. All right, Nathan let me hear from you. Do you think wasewana accept poetry in Kenya? Mm-hmm. I want to accept poetry. Mm-hmm. Actually poetry in Kenya is growing mm-hmm. in a very in a very rapid rate. Juzi tu siji kama meona jicho pevo ameshinda Oscar. Mm-hmm. Oscar Award in Kenya. 
imagine mm-hmm. amepambana eh bali tunaenda sasa si mali ya Islam poetry ama mtu ku create ya events zake mm-hmm. poetry na grow and i love that i love that about it mm-hmm. so we are going places okay l- l- okay l- l- let's let's talk about msiako home probably presumably ana anasema like how do you even venture into this industry like naweza ingeaje like for you likuaje ku venture kwa industry ya poetry na nini kuanza kusema mazenzi ma lines kukua hapa kwa media nini venture mm-hmm. you 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 making it look like a big deal mm-hmm. okay poetry first of all it's not something that you wake up one day and you say leo naenda kulima shamba mm-hmm. it is something inside hadi niligundua hadi farming pia ni calling so. <laughs> farming eh wewe ndio msee but wewe unasema ni easy likupata mahindi especially kwenye metoka tu ni hivi tu eh kabisa uh-huh. so nini as in in a way in a big way it's calling mm-hmm. because you have to be devoted to what you do if you're not willing to devote to what you do mm-hmm. you cannot do it well mm-hmm. so nini any anyone that has it in them to do it yeah you should come out and do it but hey, I, i guess i guess i look back and i hate the old me when wow. i began kwa sababu wo any beginner in poetry these guys are so desperate so desperate we've allowed this industry to be this industry of art mm-hmm. we've allowed ourselves to be so much carried away by this quest for fame that we have lost the true meaning of art wow. uh-huh. art's true sense is lost mm-hmm because something like this picture if you can point at it something like this like this is the true meaning of art it should be like passionate it should be communicating something but when you look at what you are doing right now with words people just want to be to have a big name mm-hmm. titles mm-hmm. rather than have any impact in the society mm-hmm. some of them don't even know they are making impact in the society You know okay. I talked to a poet and I was like hi guy hi I love your I love your I love your rap about your mom uh, can I see more poetry and then he shared the links and then I asked him why do you do this and then he was like it's my talent why do you do this it's my passion I asked him like four times uh, yes he might have gotten irritated but I needed to know why he's doing it and for them it's kind of let's just do it because we can do it okay wanna find a for impact Yeah I'm doing uh-huh. it for impact. I uh-huh. want to change your life. I want to change my society. I mean the society right now is carried away by being digital. But that shouldn't be the case. We should go back to God. We should go back to being Africans. We should not be carried away by being westernized so much that we forget our true purpose in life. Hey, okay. So, so let's talk to Nathaniel. Probably you are, you, are, you may be having a different perspective of all these. Mbona unafanya poetry? And why would you encourage someone kufanya poetry? Uh, everyone has their stories to tell mm-hmm. so basically you are your ile, ile, ile ambition yako what you know ni kama kusema your definition of success mm-hmm. kwa mwingine ni kuja kwa tv kwa mwingine ni kujulikana kwa mwingine tu anataka tu awe tu awe na pesa mm-hmm. that's success to him so in poetry me na feel pia ina depend hivyo hivyo the same same kuna mwingine anataka ku kuna nini Uh, is doing poetry mm-hmm. just for I don't some just some girl who wants to please kuna mwingine anafanya tu juni kitu new in the it's trending right now kuna mwingine anafanya sasa for the impact which mostly size size I can honestly say people are doing for the impact we are, we are past okay there are few you mm-hmm. know the like every 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 situation lazima kutakuwa na watu wenyewe wana lag behind too obviously but say so it's more of impact we need to change the society mita sema in the beginning was the word so na choose kufanya spoken word hiyo ni hiyo dari ni sema ni mimi kufanya nini gospel not precisely i'm i'm uh-huh. diverse on both sides yeah? mm. all right uh-huh. so naweza sema tu ni hivyo eh iko diverse hivyo mm. yeah. so uh, let me see because you both of you are probably are on the same path of impact have ever tried to probably to mentor some people in terms of poetry yeah actually i was <laughs> we used to have uh, okay back in mombasa we have uh, talent and plug mm-hmm. that's empowering new artists to come it's, it's usually free it's more of like pal huko lakini huko pia it's talent and the talent and plug mm. we empower more artists to come join if you need to start up nini every wednesday at swahili pot hub everyone is welcome plus i was mm. thinking of creating see like creative writing skills all right yeah i was thinking of, about that later in the year between, i haven't started uh-huh. 
Say. between writing before before ni kama evangelical between writing na kuiletakiwa tu out which is far much easier writing ama kukuja tu kuitandika ikiwa tu ni full full recorded thing writing is easy mm -hmm. writing is very easy mm -hmm. like mimi ni some other thing iko naandika tu ilikuwa na kupata ku perform on stage uh -huh. writing is easy i can just na is anika tu about my day that's writing all right so long as it's in me uh -huh. but it takes courage could stand in front of a stage that's text, that text courage and by the way that's that's that that creates a lot of impact talking mm -hmm. while writing not not everyone re reads by the way so talking is much more effective mm -hmm. yeah you, evangelical you began something at St Columbine began. I didn't begin something uh -huh. I worked as a trainer as a trainer I, there yeah uh -huh. I was working on those kids the first of all you need training spoken word students in high school for their competitions that have that have been introduced into their festival it it is all about nurturing what they already have mm -hmm. because they need to have it in them and then the piece yeah i write the pieces for them and then the training part of it is the most crucial all right that leads me to the same question with muliza mm -hmm. about writing and recording because msema wao naandikianga tu so for you which is easier yeah you cannot perform for them because you're not a student wewe zende ku perform tu hapo ushike nini you're not a student you can maybe introduce the festival as a as just an artist but you cannot mm -hmm. like it's like i cannot do your praying for you no, okay so okay fit fit eh as a fit but uh, i'm loving the way you guys are because impact by the way imekuwa ni relevant sana kwa society so easy and uh, i want to ask if by chance we have opportunity yes yes nini there, there is a question we mm -hmm. between writing and nini just mm -hmm. doing it which one is easier <laughs> yeah writing for the most part is easier and performance yeah it came to okay me when i knew poetry mm -hmm. i thought it is something that people stand on stage and they just speak mm -hmm. so when i started i nurtured that gift of mm -hmm. freestyle so me i became so good at it that i was so lazy to write that's why i have not been on the lame late like I've, i i will i will be like you write cram hey that's a whole lot lot of process but performing on stage as long as you have the content that is I don't know where the lines come from mm -hmm. as long as I know what I'm talking about I'm talking about grace I'm talking about tribalism I'm talking about this uh, as wow. as in I just stand and I share something uh, what inspires you between all these things because you must have tribe kuna nini 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 what will primarily your specific thing that can inspire you in terms of like culture what inspires me mm. like you can go to TV like yeah must have openly like for instance me my days you nini 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 can tell me what to write Mm -hmm. for you na kuanga nini yeah more or less that mm -hmm. yeah uh, yeah it it uh, it has to be something you you've encountered you can in poetry it's not more like novels novels you can create fiction mm -hmm. but in poetry yes there are those who do fiction but for us it has to be there has to be something that has hit us like imeku hit really hard like i came on way to 54 and i saw that I, I i saw that aleki mm -hmm. aleki maybe amefanya hivi and then I, I, i'll go and start a line mm. <laughs> <laughs> but then i wrote something from somebody's show wow. i'll not mention the show but uh -huh. i did a piece mm -hmm. the piece i shared on switch tv mm -hmm. i i quoted even the dates if you listen mm -hmm. i remember it. yes august yeah. something yes i remember yes. you saying that <laughs> and i was like oh, okay bro and it looked about because it looked about some white and black something no that one mm -hmm. that one was about nini somebody said that christianity is a dying philosophy okay. and i was like munga answer that back yani ulika hivi ukasema man you cannot say that you cannot criticize the gospel for which i stand the bible says uh -huh. that in, in first peter chapter 3 verse 15 mm -hmm. it says that if the people have any questions we should be ready with answers to defend the scriptures not to defend god but to defend the word of god So uh, thank you for saying that. Soon nataka mwa leo something for 854. Siji kwenye mtatoa hizo idea. I I bet creativity iko hapa reloaded. I know you guys are so creative so mtafanya. But I want you Nathan ufanye tu nini yako tu. Roll tu na yako moja. Yeah. Mm. The spoken word is with half who speaks and half with those that listens. Atox net speaks. 
aliyesema dunia ni tambara bovu hakukosea juu yenyewe imeja na uovu tumeachwa na vumbi hichi kivumbi siji tupata wapi dasta at least to dasta ndo tupate mwangaza cuz at this rate itabidi to members fetch the light at the end of the tunnel naona tu ikizima life ni kama ile magic school ndio maana imetujazia tricks tricky freak you hayawani umekuwa stick you mess stick in kwa minds yetu funga macho abracadabra fumbua uone kama utaona kisa cha baba na babra mtoto wake uhusiano who's c9 okizimekuwa kesi kwa magazeti tunabaki kugeza atg imekuwa situation familia misemu ya ndovu kumlamo nawe so baba na choose kumesa pia ke familia tujiangalie tuko pabaya leo kuliko jana our lives are a joke hata kama sio ni kitu fulani laughter haha <laughs> kwa best medicine imetufanya sote tukawagonjwa and honestly i'm sick of it comedy imekuwa remedy hiding behind memes even though our lives aren't smiling as it may seem pastor anashindwa kupasta anaacha waumini wanaumwamini kwa giza it ndio justified aki preach kuwa jesus is the light labish false prophets biashara takatifu si bishop amegeuza church kwa big shop stories za kupanda mbegu kumbe tuna uzi wa baraka anakon doza kon ndo ambao pia wamevua zao ngozi za ofisi juu amekosa kiongozi hypocrisy so atakuwa amevalia sande best na kumbe kwa mdomo pia wao ni bread the best whiskey mm. kwa mbali wako tipsy tuna sinking kwa evil ni kama tuko dipsy tunahitaji floaters jesus come save us Tuspose baufa tajenga ukuta si ni sisi bado tuna complain juu ya politicians ndo maana hata kesho bado tutalilea maende leo tuna voting leaders bila kuangalia aspects zao za kwa greedy tuna chocho na promises na memo ziko zenye ziko misleading lema we are mainly to blame jo moja alimpigia kura it because the share tribe name it took expand your jina kwa uko anaweza kwa kitu kuu wa babu wa mjomba kazi yake ya kambo mwingine si alijengwa free transport na lunch toka jesus stadium na hivyo ndo aliuza kura Alafu bado tuna question bona viongozi wanatugeuzia mgongo wakati sisi ndio tuligive our backs on the obvious was right in front of us. Uliza ofisadi ile ofisadi inampelekaje? Sitoshe mikono ndio inele kula hongo vizuri. Tuongeze sukari next time wakitaka kupewa chai. Corruption imekita mizizi ndio maana leaders hawahitaji focus la mali ya umma. Eti tulwa spoon feed into his opposition so atafanya chini ya akili itawatuma. Mm. Tusake zetu tungali vijana. Vijana wame lose focus. Wanaishi ni kama wana live for us. Laana. Life zao zimekosa maana. Cheki. 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 Cheki wa kilus mashanti na ma, mashati na mapanti kwa party ati ni kujigamba. Ati ni trend so squeeze so kwa social media wanajigamba. Wasichana wadogo wanashindwa kiinama utadhani wanataka cha mvunguni. Wavlana nao so takwambia wamechoka ndo maana wamembrace huni. Mira mira on the wall reflection in our deserve attention. Seriously. 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 Eh. Hey. Tujiangalie. Atox na speaks. Hey. Pals and list. Eh hey, biga biga manze tu appreciate you boy child. Eh hey, ameweza. Nilisikia poetry club nyingine hizi, si ndio? Yeah, yeah. Uko huku tu, si ndio? Eh hey, manze biga big up. Hey, hiyo line hiyo line ya sio ina maana nini nini? Eh hey, man. <laughs> ulitoa ulitoa wapi hiyo? <laughs> Ni basically hizi vitu mtaka cha mungu ni sharti ya uh-huh. So uh-huh today's today's trend actually mhm msichana kwa kwa video lazima tu ameinama kama anataka cha nguni mhm so <laughs> okay so so i want you to nataka upea lifa hiyo mic najua kuna swali ameshinda hapa akicheka tu mpe tu hiyo mic as you guys mwanze kujua mnatufanya nini saa hizi the two of you want you to work on something si ni sawa so you work on something mtandikie tu hapa saa hii saa hii tukimaliza si ndio so halifa ina unakuwa unataka tu kichini ya maji kuna ka point flani alisema uh-huh. Nikakumbuka vile mimi nili kuna ka event niliweka West ka event the, my first event Okay kwa niwe na producer yangu ile yangu hata ilikuwa ni mimi na producer hata mwenye alikuwa analeta machine my own stuff au kwa mimi So imagine hey. that is day for your event that's the kind of show event Nilikuwa yani, na nikachorea story na nikacha kabisa Hadi wenye ulikuwa naaminia kazi <laughs> Like imagine si machine ni zangu definitely si ndio yeah. so the guy was sound Mm-hmm. nilimpeleka mashini ndo akuje nazo like, full pack full pack mm. 
So si mimi nimeka tumeka already tushafika tulikuwa sasa kama watatu tushafika tunangoja ma vitu zikam ndio tuanze kulipisha entrance. Ziki tu. <laughs> Nakwambia hadi huo mse wa sound mwenye akukuja anapiga hey brother mimi si zimeka. <laughs> <laughs> Tukiangalia hapo kwa entrance hakuna hata mtu hata mmoja. Eh. Hey. Ulilipisha how much kwanza? Ndoze kwa 2000 bili, 200 shillings. Sasa hizi nalipisha how much? Ah, excuse, ah, si kufanya event. Okay, wana nalipisha how much ndio waenda basi. Sije yenda event. Wacha nikwambie kweli. Serious? Yeah, si nang event na sifanya ng event. Eh. Apart from club, hata wedding ni once once. Once once. I don't like it, yeah. Hapa na hapa. Let me stick to my to club thing. You know nimezoea. Yeah. Hiyo ndio kazi yako pale mabobea kwenye kazi. Kijana anaelewa hizo vitu bana. Hey. Hey, no ma. Uh-huh. Budo lijaribu. So, how do you see the industry? You know another year poetry. Industry. Kuna competition hii. Okay, si kama entertainment. Ni I think iko ndani entertainment Iko. but wezi compare na unachikiwa sani mm-hmm. au umejo wa Korea like mm-hmm. mko less, si ndio? But ukiangalia wasanii wako wengi. So definitely hao wanaweza inuka haraka more than right yeah kukua less ni opportunity ati kukua less kwa industry ni opportunity kukua less uh-huh. in like terms I'm of like wasa wa poetry uh, i can't really call it that because mm-hmm. if he, yeah it's an opportunity and it's not mm-hmm. yeah well, why why so why is it and it's not it's an opportunity because if you do something good you'll be noticed uh-huh. it's also not an opportunity because unaenda kuambia mse unataka kuperform kwa event yake na simu unataka kuperform mimi <laughs> like I, I I went and said poetry in a wedding uh-huh. back in Eldoret mm-hmm. and then they were like spoken word ndo nini? Da. <laughs> hey. So uh-huh. ebu, ebu adi, adi, uh-huh. adi, adi yo yo pastor mwenye alikuwa amenieta niende ni sema peace after mesema <laughs> akakuwa zile za Mungu anatupeanga sisi wote vipa tofauti tofauti hakujua ni nini. Mwenye tu kulienda kukaenda. Mwenye tu likubalika kubalika. Okay so anataka sawa tuwapatie wao kumfanyeni wawili. Ya yeah, YTF54 mrol tu nayo. Na na nini okay before mm-hmm. we do that. Yeah, yeah. Nini those those would like maybe kutucheki. Mhm. Mimi mimi personally those in Nairobi welcome to Ramoth Foods restaurants every Thursday from 4 p.m. Nini we are with Ruben Kigame. Mm-hmm. It's on my Facebook page Evangelical Poet. Welcome kuja usikilize poetry that refreshes and blesses the soul. And God willing one of these fine days with your support nita host gospel poetry event in ye. I'm sure it will change the lives of many. Big up big up your social media platform. Put it to my kind of corner. Evangelical poet nini Evangelical poet Facebook page. Mm-hmm. Evangelical poet Instagram. Evangelical poet YouTube. Big up. Don't go Nathan. Uh, I mean I wanna be sana ku support home ground. Mhm. Yuko ndo kumenlea. Mm-hmm. So if you in Mombasa Every Tuesday tuko na at cocktail at Arian Plaza 5:30 to 7. Right. Wednesday kuna hiyo Talent Unplugged. Both these shows are free just come by. Mm-hmm. Uh, 27 tutakuwa na Pizza Box at Swahili Pot Hub mali kumendelea. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Alafu nime perform tujiangalie hapo tujiangalie okay. ni piece nime drop tu jana YouTube okay. audio. Ah, so you can it's a cover to Saudi Souls I, I love vile umeka hiyo instrumental kumaanisha na fertilizer. Video video your social media platforms. Social media mm-hmm. net, net speaks on YouTube, mm-hmm. net speaks Facebook Facebook page, mm-hmm. alafu net Amani Twitter Uh, Instagram Big up big up we'll be coming back but before to anza mazela zima wase wangu watandike tu moja tumalizie show Let's do this people Why Why 254 Wamenipea chance ya kuimagine vitu si jai allow zipite kwa mind after nime mitaleki kwa hiyo seat I guess nataka kuwa lake behind this mic So I'm far sit and listen. Listen to these words in a hill kwa sababu nataka kukiliza butterfly. Mm-hmm. After all nina speak through the spirit so the courage the courage of the spirit is in me. I hope unaona I do, I'm not doubting my words kwa sababu niko na guts. Nimetoka kuishi hiyo life ya gata sahii nime raise. My standards ziko above vile mlikuwa mnafikiria. I hope sahii mnanionea. Mm-hmm. Mnanionea hiyo macho ya TV amnionee kijicho. So to the real piece I wanted to share on this platform today this is for every campus sister. <laughs> Dear campus sister. Huyo dem sikatai anatesa lakini kwa kila ndume amekuwa bonyeza. 
Sijui ni wapi sera alipoteza. Na unless God aingilie kati sioni akiwa na successful marriage ka Sara, akiwa na most of labda kuweka Rahab, jukile ye hudu baada atagundua sio raha tupu, badala ya dhiki faraja yake ni raha then tab mm. simama amemleta shule juzi akiwa na kalamu na kitabu lakini sasa hii kwa hiyo society matendo yake ni ka tabu it's an abomination amejifunza njia ya kutunza ujana through abortion sijui ni wapi <coughs> amejifunza njia ya kutunza ujana through abortion sijui ni wapi sera alipoteza but god ana fine kati so namwombea sana katika kila sala jua la yanayomgoja ni bala Amefika siti anaita maji uora sijui what happened alichukia sana kushema kwa mama na sahi anaelekea kwa mama anasahi ni uvundo tupu hakuna kitu kara haza dunia jubila god mwanadamu huumia si mwanadamu ni haramia mshika dau anakandamiza satan atakwambia shika utajembea umepata ngali umepoteza dear kampa sister the devil is a liar sio lazima uwe na date kampondo uwe wa maana watu wa maana hatujitangazi hatuhitaji watiaji kutuambia tunaweza ju tunajua God anatupenda cuz in and out of everything he is our everything cuz ni yetu kwa hii life haizi kutu double cross cuz ni endi alitufia kwa cross so sijali kwenye kwa hii life umefika judeli christ anakufika akikwambia dota come come follow me and i will make you a fisher of men evangelical poet bigga bigga manze eh hey, manze just you to learn what if i too brief because of time manze because nataka kukara pap manze tu ingia next ndio yeah please do it Life yangu imejezwa na Ys. Hey. Na si unajua after Y ni X lakini X kwangu ni ya excellence. Napita mtihani ni kama niko mwa Kenya. Wale hawajui sinaishi Kenya. 254. Hey. Imagine. <laughs> Evolution na point ndio nazidi kunipea. Motivation for mamini hadi kwa mistari niliolea. Thanks to God. Thanks to God nime gone air. Kutoka humble beginnings to after do a fair. Nandoto, affiliated na hard work ndo niweze kugrotol. Success kwa dao la hope ita pick my call. So na shika simu, nikiridi mbonga points. Hoping one day ni itabonga point nikiwa simu lia kisa cha umali ni metoka. Stories of God's grace, ju life ni kama poka. Ni koko God's grace, God's best bila ASI ya inda kasi. No, si life ime nifundisha to always keep moving. Doma na kila siku nanambia, talent yangu itadipele kambali. Art talks, net speaks. Big up, big up, big up, guys. Many thanks for coming. To me, appreciate Sana Manze. See you next time. God bless you so much. Anyway, Thank this you. is Y254 Valley is coming up next. Manze, don't go anywhere. Today's poetry edition. This is Y254.